y'all and welcome back to the channel thank you so much for clicking that button to view this video i have a special guest mrs bo oh she not really enthused can you say hi to the people say hi hi to halo's angels wave your hand just don't be sitting there i know it's early she like ebony it's early halo is going to school why are you doing all of this got these lights and everything on <laughs> yeah say hi yes i have a guest appearance mrs bone she's gonna be in the video with me today oh y'all see that <laughs> she has a whole attitude going on this morning but we're just gonna let her be okay halloween is approaching i believe it's next week i am completely late on getting started on doing anything i wasn't gonna do much but you guys if you follow my videos if you follow my blogs y'all know i have been having a whole lot of go on um, virtual learning halo's been at home so it's been very very hard to share some things with y'all that i've been wanting to share without her being able to see and like i stated before follow us on instagram and all of our social medias she is back into in person so i couldn't be more happier and i just prayed that all the kids staff teachers principals everybody administrators that they stay safe and that god continues to cover them in his blood as we go on this journey so i wanted to share with y'all what i'm going to be doing i told you all a few videos prior um that i wasn't going to be doing um trick or treat with halo this year but i did say i wanted to do like a scavenger hunt so that's what i'm going to be doing um that's going to be her big wham we're just going to play it close play it safe um this halloween hopefully next year things will go back to normal i mean halloween to me is all about the dressing up getting the free candy interacting with your neighbors seeing all the kids and their counselors and like I said, i'm not going to be trick-or-treating but i am going to continue to i will be getting halo dress i did get her a costume um, I got this back, I want to say, ooh, last month sometime when they first started bringing their Halloween stuff out. Because I, y'all know, Halo is very much so into role play. So her costumes, she wears them throughout the year and just get dressed as she chooses to. So for me, it was almost like an investment because I know it's something that she likes. My baby, she loves her some JoJo. She's still into JoJo. So for this year, she's definitely going to be JoJo Siwa. I seen this and I was like, yes, had to have it, had to get it for her. They have this one and I think a skirt. Halo knows like what costume goes with, I guess, what song she sings. I don't know it, but I think she said that's the D-R-E-A-M, mama. I don't know, but she is going to be um, actually JoJo for Halloween. And I thought this was a pretty... Um, a upgrade of a costume. I'm gonna take it out so you guys can see. And I got this at Target in a size small. And it comes with a like the JoJo bow, but it's like a real, almost kind of like a real stage um, costume. It has the little detailing on the sleeves and everything. It has this collar that goes around, hands up. So we have to figure out, so that kind of stands up on the neck and a cutout shoulder um, arm and it goes all the way down. So I know Halo is going to love that. I don't know if I'm going to use the bow or not, but she already has some high top shoes. I do want to do her makeup up and everything. So I'm going to show y'all what I've got. And this is just her Halloween costume. So I got this little dollar makeup. Where was it in Target? to do her little face. I still think I need to find like some little rhinestones to stick on her face as well. And then I also got this one here. This is the glitter kit in pink and purple from Target. And then I got these three hair colors. Now Halo has been asking for this, but I figured we're gonna play in it far as her costume because on the picture jojo does have like some extensions with um different colors all in it so we're gonna try to i'm gonna try to mimic that as much as i can so i picked up three these three uh hairspray color sprays in the purple blue and pink now far as trick-or-treating with the whole candy ordeal because the kids just like the candy that's what it's about getting the costume and really may, mainly getting the candy and as parents i like it too the reason why i take her so i can dead in it too just saying but um 
I'm going to be giving her a spooky basket. And her spooky basket is just gonna be her little Halloween basket that she has had for a couple of years. I purchased this on, I purchased this at uh, Pottery Barn. They have some of the cutest baskets. This is, look, a nice size for her because I really don't, she doesn't eat a lot of candy. Um, she just likes to go out, get dressed, and see all the other costumes and look at people just like I do. So this is gonna be enough to put in her spooky basket. We're also going to be uh, carving a pumpkin, which Mrs. Bones have down here. So Miss Bones has the pumpkin that we're gonna be using. Um, and it's another one in the kitchen. So I got two of them that we're going to decorate. Oh, you, you really tripping. This. Sit back, chill out. So yes. So in her spooky basket, it's just going to be little, pretty much a bunch of candy. Starting off, um, I wanted to tell you as far as Halloween scavenger hunt, I just got one of these bags of candy. And what I'm going to do is put it like in a bunch of little Ziploc bags. And I might go back and get like a larger candy for the scavenger hunt and it's just going to say little things like you know if you when you wake up in the morning you go brush your teeth but you have to turn the lights on to see where do you go i picked up this um kitty mix yes and your girl done dipped in it last night y'all know every year i'll be dipping in the kitty yes so i got this bag of candy and that's what we're going to place i'm gonna place all throughout the house halo has been asking for a uh, a ring grip for her telephone um, so I picked up this one So I've seen this a cute little um, Phone ring that she can put on her cell phone something that she's been asking for at first I was just going to give it to her for Christmas But this is just going to be one of her little things that she can get in her spooky bag for as Halloween So I got her that and now she's going to have her favorite trips are some of the Takis. She loves to eat on these um, Jose bring this for her her and her sister would sit and eat on these. So she really do love enjoying eating on some Takis. So I'm going to be putting this in her spooky basket as well. Um, This will also come in her, I'm gonna put this also in her basket or next to it. This is just some pumpkins decor kit. It's smiley faces. Halo likes a little stuff like this. That way she can do the front and back and we can paint it, have her paint one side one thing and the other side another. And then I'm gonna decorate a pumpkin. I don't wanna do pumpkin carving because I'm just not good at that. It takes a special creative person that has some really nice skills, hand skills to get in there and carve a pumpkin. I'm just not one of those. Plus, I do not like the cleanup at all. So I stick to the just decorating tips. kits. I can put some paint on there and we can call it a day, okay? So I also got this and I got this for Walmart from for $3.97. This I forgot to share with y'all, but these here are some little um, eye glow some glow eyeglasses and they were only 98 cents at walmart so this is going to be perfect as well with her jojo outfit i also forgot to share with y'all like i'm trying to i'm really going to try to do her up this year but i got halloween limited edition unicorn eyelashes and halo loves to get dressed up now so i'm just telling y'all i found these at a walmart i wish i would have went earlier and got these because they had a whole display of different cute little stuff but it was already ran through you know these girls they getting their makeup they use that for every day okay and so also in her bag because kato does love bubble gum we i'm putting these ghoulish gumballs so you know just the little gumballs and these were a dollar at the target dollar spot so she will be again that got two of those because she loves to chew on gum like all the time anyway i got these mini m ms she will be getting this twix ghost and like i said all of this is just going to be going in her basket just some little candy there and then the last one i got was this laffy taffy to go in her bag as well and two of these uh, Reese's pumpkin. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this idea. If you are interested in doing it, trust me, do it. If you don't feel too comfortable with going out and trick or treat amongst your neighbors in your neighborhood, your friends and your family, and you're really skeptical about, you know, not having a large social gathering. And that's where I come at it with, you know, you just don't know 
these people and what they might do or whatever but i would advise for anybody to do this idea it is super fun i did see um these videos float around last year before but my girl also mommy and two divas she did a spooky basket for her daughters you guys be sure to check out hers be sure to have your post notifications coming on because now the halo's back in school i am able to do what i got my daughter for christmas so that video will be coming up in the near future i hope you guys like this video if you did please be sure to press that like button press that subscribe button if you is if you're not subscribed to our channel and become a number one supporter and also turn on your post notifications that way you'll be notified every single time I do upload a video. I love you guys. Stay safe, mask up, sanitize. Until the next video, bye.